If you've used Google for any amount of time at all, you know there's more than one kind of media online. You've probably used images before, you might have even used news. In this lesson, I want to talk about the different kinds of media that are online and why you might use one in preference to another. For example, if you're looking to maybe move or you want to update your resume, you can go to Google and do a search like this, just a simple resume. At the bottom of the page, you see here with the big red arrow highlighting it, a link to images for this query resume. What this is telling you is that in addition to information, regular web pages that talk about resumes, there's a bunch of interesting information about images uh, uh, that show examples of resumes, for example. Now, if you click on that link, it will take you to the images page. And now you know how to do tricks like find similar that we talked about in the very first class, or you can filter by color. Now, most resumes are kind of black and white, so that's probably not going to do much for you. But you see here related searches. So it's this blue stripe across the middle here. These are other searches, just like suggestions we saw in the last lesson, other searches that people have done that have been productive for them. So you might consider looking at creative resumes or sample resumes, all within the scope of image search. You might not have thought about using images to help you understand how to write a resume, but as you can see, Google made the suggestion. We clicked through to the image results, and you can see there's a bunch of really nice ideas here. One of the key things to remember here is that there's a bunch of different kinds of media. We'll talk about this in a little bit in the next lesson, but I'll give you a quick overview here. If, for example, we're trying to do a little bit more understanding of that Sagittarius query from last time, we could do the regular web search, which is what we did last time, and you see the images results that are blended in here. We could also do, do a search on videos, and you can see there's a lot of examples of people using Sagittaria and actually demonstrating how it grows in their aquarium. You'll see how-to videos, which illustrate really nice ways of using this information in real applications. Here, I've clicked on the news tab over here on the left-hand side, and now I'm getting news information about Sagittaria. In this case, I haven't done anything other than switch the media type. Started with web, went to videos, went to news. If you're really curious about Sagittaria and you want to put some in your aquarium, you can click on the shopping tab and you can see on the right-hand side there, there are a lot of places online where you can illustrate and discover where you can buy some of that to use. As an example, we could try to do another one of those how-to tasks by just doing a regular search like, how do I change my bike chain? How to change bike chain. And you'll see, again, suggestions here are at the very top. The very first three results are YouTube videos. So what Google is doing for you is showing you how to take this query and suggesting other media kinds that might be relevant for you. So, what we're trying to get across here is that sometimes it's useful to look outside the ordinary media type. We all know about using Google to search for web pages, but sometimes the best answer is in images. So think about doing that. When Google gives you an image result on the search results page or a video set of results on the search results page, it's an interesting suggestion. Maybe there's good stuff there. Go check it out.